Welcome to Cats Know How. Today, we're diving into a very important topic, depression in cats. Yes, cats can experience depression just like us humans. It's a topic that often gets overlooked, but it's crucial for your feline friend's well-being. In this video, I'll guide you through the common symptoms of depression in cats. We'll talk about what you can do to help your furry companion feel better. Let's get started. What is cat depression? First things first, what exactly is cat depression? Cat depression isn't much different from depression in people. It's when your cat's emotional and physical health takes a downturn. This can happen for a variety of reasons. Maybe there's been a change in their environment or they've lost a companion. Even boredom can lead to depression in cats. It's important to recognize the signs early. That way, you can offer the support your cat needs. So, what are the symptoms you should look out for? Let's jump into that next. Symptom one, lethargy or lack of energy. One of the first symptoms of depression in cats is lethargy. Your once playful, energetic cat may become unusually lazy. They might spend most of their time sleeping, or they may just sit in one spot for hours. If your cat isn't moving around much or playing as they used to, this could be a sign something's wrong. Of course, all cats enjoy naps. But if your cat seems to lack energy more than usual, depression could be the cause. Symptom two, loss of appetite. Another key sign of depression is a loss of appetite. Has your cat been ignoring their food lately? Are they not as excited for treats as they used to be? If your cat's eating habits have changed suddenly, it's worth paying attention to. Cats can stop eating when they feel sad or stressed, and skipping meals can lead to other health problems. So if you notice this, it's time to take action. Symptom three, changes in grooming habits. Cats are known for being clean creatures. They usually groom themselves regularly, but when a cat is depressed, their grooming habits may change. Some cats stop grooming altogether. Their fur might start to look messy or dirty. On the other hand, some cats may overgroom as a way to cope with stress. You might notice bald patches or sores from excessive grooming. Both of these behaviors are signs of emotional distress. Symptom four, hiding or avoiding people. Is your cat hiding more than usual? Depressed cats often withdraw from social interaction. They may hide under furniture or stay in a quiet room by themselves. If your cat is avoiding you or other family members, this could be a sign they're feeling low. Cats that are normally social but suddenly become distant are telling you something's wrong. Don't ignore these changes in behavior. Symptom five, aggression or irritability. Depression can also show up as aggression. Your cat might become more irritable than usual. They might hiss, swat, or bite more often. This could be a reaction to feeling overwhelmed or sad. Aggression can also be a way for your cat to express frustration. If your usually calm cat is lashing out, it's worth considering depression as a possible cause. Symptom six, vocalization changes. Has your cat's meow changed recently? Cats often communicate how they feel through their voice. A depressed cat may become unusually quiet, or they might meow more often in a sad low tone. If your cat is talking less or more than usual, this could be a symptom of depression. Pay attention to any changes in the way your cat vocalizes. It's their way of letting you know something's wrong. Symptom seven, loss of interest in activities. A big sign of depression is when your cat loses interest in things they once enjoyed. Does your cat no longer play with their favorite toys? Do they seem uninterested in activities that used to excite them? This lack of interest is a clear indicator of depression. Just like humans, Cats can lose motivation when they're feeling down. Encouraging your cat to engage in activities can help lift their spirits. Symptom eight, excessive sleeping. We all know that cats love to sleep, but there's a difference between normal cat naps and excessive sleeping. If your cat is sleeping far more than usual, it could be a sign of depression. They may sleep to escape their feelings of sadness or stress. While it's normal for cats to snooze a lot, too much sleep can signal emotional issues. Watch out for drastic changes in their sleep patterns. What causes cat depression? Now that we've covered the symptoms, let's talk about what causes depression in cats. There are several potential triggers. One common cause is the loss of a companion. Whether it's another pet or a human, cats can grieve deeply. Major changes in their environment, like moving to a new home, can also cause depression. Even boredom can lead to emotional distress if a cat isn't stimulated enough. Identifying the cause is key to helping your cat recover. How to help a depressed cat. So what can you do if your cat is showing signs of depression? 
First, try to identify the cause. Has there been a recent change in your cat's life? If so, try to minimize stress and provide comfort. Spend more quality time with your cat. Engage them in play and offer mental stimulation. Toys, puzzles, and interactive activities can help bring joy back into their life. Also, make sure their environment is calm and stable. Routine is important for cats. Having a predictable schedule can make them feel more secure. If your cat is grieving, give them time to adjust, but also offer extra love and attention. Sometimes, it helps to bring in new forms of companionship. This could be another pet or just more time spent with you. When to see a vet. If your cat's symptoms persist, it's important to see a vet. Sometimes depression can be linked to an underlying medical issue. Your vet will be able to rule out any health problems. They might also suggest treatments like medication or behavior therapy. Don't hesitate to get professional help if your cat's condition doesn't improve. Your vet can offer the best advice on how to handle cat depression. Preventing depression in cat's prevention is always better than cure. So how can you help prevent depression in your cat? First, make sure they have plenty of stimulation. Keep their environment engaging with toys and activities. Routine is also key. Cats thrive on a regular schedule. Try to maintain consistency in feeding, playtime, and sleep. Also, pay attention to any changes in their behavior. Early detection of emotional changes can prevent depression from becoming severe. Lastly, show them love. Cats may be independent, but they still need affection and attention. And that's it for today's video on the symptoms of depression in cats. Remember, it's important to keep an eye on your cat's behavior. If you notice any changes, don't ignore them. Your cat depends on you to help them through tough times. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Cats Know How for more cat care tips. Take care of yourself and your feline friend. See you next time.